Hi, it's your girl Melissa Steele representing for StarLifeDanceHall.com. All right, so this is www.StarLifeDanceHall.com. I'm here right now with Melissa Steele, the beautiful young lady with the beautiful soulful voice right now about to take the by storm, um, based in the UK. So let's get into it. Um, Melissa, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Well, I'm, I'm doing great. I'm doing I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. So it's, it's a good day. Yes. You know, it's a really good day. Um, yes. So I, I have, I've gotten an opportunity to check out your music, and um, I must say that I really enjoy it. Um, so you. you being a new artist right now, a lot of people may not know anything about your background and things of that nature. So do you mind telling the people a little bit about yourself, where you're from, where you were born, where you grew up, and you know how old you are? Yeah, of course. I'm I'm Melissa. I'm 20 years old. Um, I'm from Bradford, which is in the north of England. Um, I've just recently signed to Atlantic Records. Um, as you've just said, I have a single out with Pop Clan called Kisses for Breakfast, which dropped on the 14th of July. Um, we've just shot the video for that. That comes out next week. We went to Jamaica to do that. Um, I also have the song out with Cove called Where, Where We Are. That's dropping this month. And yeah, I've been I've been doing this for a good 10 years now I started I recorded my first song when I was 11 um, okay. started performing at that age too then went on to doing YouTube videos and that kind of was a massive platform for me and then that, oh. that um, then I then started recording down in London and stuff like that so yeah okay great I, I did a little background check you know and um, yeah. I came to uh, find out that you are admirer of Aaliyah Aaliyah um, yeah. influenced your style yeah, she's my inspiration. I mean, growing up in the 90s, I used to listen to her um, alongside people like Destiny Child and Mariah and Whitney, but Ellie is my main, my main inspiration. I just love, I love her voice and her style and everything about her, really. Oh, definitely. She's a great artist. You know, make you yeah. rest in peace. Um, yeah, well, so how, did, how did your deal with Atlantic Records come about? Um, it all fell together really, really quickly. Um, I met my A&R the first time that I had a meeting with him. He played me Kisses for Breakfast in the demo version. And straight away, I just said, I want this song because it sounded like something that I would write. So okay. um, kind of just put my stamp on it as soon as I heard it. Um, and then the next week I went to record it. Um, and then I got told they were signing it as a single. And mm -hmm. then obviously in the meantime, I was then recording my own material. And then they said that they were signing me officially. So it all okay. kind of happened very unexpected, but in a really, really good way as well. That's how it usually happens. It was, it was meant to yeah. be that way. Yeah, um, no so your, your initial song, um, Kisses for Breakfast, is it, featuring yeah. um, dancehall artist Popcorn. Um, yeah. So are you a fan of dancehall and reggae music? Yeah, um, I'm half Jamaican, so I, okay. I used to that. Like, it's always played in my household I was already a fan of Popcorn so it's a massive okay. plus that he was on the song um, okay. and yeah like I listen to that all the time and I go to Jamaica every year too so, okay who are some of your favourite dancehall artists um, I love Popcorn obviously um, yeah, reggae wise I love like Jack, Jack Hill Sizzler I love okay. a bit of like Vibe Gaza Slim Avado Okay. Um, I love like I love like the old school reggae as well, like Barry Hammond and Tyrus Riley and people like that. Okay. In that vein, I, I heard that you just came back from um, Jamaica not too long ago. Um, you were yeah. filming a music video. Do you mind telling us a little yeah. bit about that experience? It, it was the best time ever. Um, last month we flew out there. I took my best friends with me, and obviously the rest of the team. Um, mm -hmm. We stayed in Kingston to shoot the video for Kisses for Breakfast. It was really, really fun. Um, I was involved in like the location scout and casting everyone for the video. And obviously met Popcorn a couple of days before we started shooting. I met up with him and we went like to a couple of parties and stuff. So like, because it was my first time in Kingston, I usually stay on the other side of the island. Okay. So it was it was fun, man. I had a good time in Kingston. Carnival Carnival was on too. So. That was uh, that was a bonus. <laughs> okay, what what side of the island are you usually from? The north side with Montego Bay. The uh, grill. The grill. The yeah. grill. Oh, west. The west. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, so when can we expect to see this uh, this video that goes with this beautiful song that you have just released or about to release? 
the video's coming out next week online. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's it's all it's ready to go, um, and the single comes out on the 14th of July officially. Okay, we're I'm looking excited. forward to that. We're gonna be from. I'm okay. excited for you. You know. Um, <laughs> So a couple more questions. Uh, what can we expect yes. from your first album? Will it be more of a Caribbean flavor or more of an electronic dance? Or are you going to just come with something fresh and original? What, what exactly can we expect in, from Melissa Steele? In terms of the album, I'm piecing that together right now. I'm just in the studio vibing and playing around with different sounds. But I still always want to keep um, that island Caribbean fusion in there. In okay. all my music for this album. Because that, that's what I'm living right now and that's the place that I'm at. So I'm definitely going to keep that in the album. I keep them little hints in there, but we are playing around with different sounds. But as I said, we still want to keep that infusion in most of the songs, just to keep the mm. same vibe as Kisses for Breakfast. Mm-hmm. So I'm, not, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to rush. I'm not trying to rush it too much, but I've got quite a lot of material already. So hopefully by ne- by the time next year comes, I'll I'll have something prepared. So, last question. Will you be doing um, much of the songwriting on your first album? Or do you know yeah, yet? I'm, or? Yeah, okay. no, I'm because I've already started, I'm involved in all of that. Like, if I'm not writing on my own, I'll be co-writing. So, okay. when we're in the studio, we like to start from scratch and just vibe it out. I'm all about the vibe, so we just um, see what we come up with. But we have we have got a lot of good material so far, so it seems to be working. <laughs> Okay, and I'm definitely. having I'm having a massive input in that. I, th- I believe you have to as an artist. Mm-hmm. So you, you gotta yeah. put you, you gotta put in that work, and I, I, I could imagine it's been like a whirlwind for you this last. Describe to me the feeling of actually achieving, you know, the beginning um, uh, parts of your dream. Do you know what? It's amazing. I'm I'm so excited. I'm in a happy place, but I just know that the hard work starts here. But I'm naturally a hard worker anyway so I'm mm-hmm. just I'm just having fun with it I just want to definitely the next stage of where I want to be so yeah I'm just excited for what's to come in the future okay well Melissa Steele I wish you the best you know I, I see a lot of success for you um, you know with the right marketing and promotion I, you have a beautiful voice you're, you're, and you're beautiful yourself um, you uh-huh. know you can't you can't go wrong with that you know what I mean so yeah we definitely wish you the best from here at StarlightDanceHall.com. Okay. Hi, it's your girl Melissa Steele representing for StarlightDanceHall.com. Stay luck. <laughs> <laughs>